these dogs are bred outside of Kenya. German Shepherd is a, is a vibrant, strong working dog, okay, so when the dog comes in the ring, if it's just ambling along, obviously it's not the criteria that you need. The dog needs to be strong, it needs to have a, a personality, uh, it's a very, uh, it's a police dog, we must remember, it's a guard dog, um, and it's used for a lot of that type of work, so it's very important that the temperament is strong. Not aggressive to people, but a strong learning dog because it's a very intelligent dog. Hello, I call me a Cosmos Utieno for the Dog World TV. It was a pleasure really to participate and be part of the East Africa Kennels Club All Breed 169th Championship Dog Show that was held on 30th and the 31st of October 2021 at uh, the East Africa Kennels Club World Dixon Show Ground along Magadi Road, Nairobi, a county. Okay, just to recap on the Caucasian Shepherd, 
Mida Puppy Mixed. Winner is 3 1 1. Puppy Mixed. Winner is 3 12. Junior Mixed is 3 10. Open Dog is 3 08. And Open Bitch, 3 09. Best. Uh, best uh, of read is 309. That is a dog being. Sorry, it is a bitch. It is a bitch being presented in the ring at the moment. So, best of breed. <laughs> so, uh, the working and obedience guides and in the afternoon it was purely working. On 31st, the Sunday, uh, October uh, 2021, we also had uh, the morning session that included the toy utility working and the gun dog as the afternoon show included the hound and the finals. The categories that were showcased in this event were the Alaskan Malamut. I call the that I saw a very, a very good uh, breed uh, that was brought here by, by one Mr. Kirangi, actually from Embo. We also saw among other categories the Bobol, the Boxers, uh, the Ken Akoso, uh, the uh, Caucasian Shepherds, uh, the Doberman, the Rotuela, uh, the St. Bernard, the Siberian Appreciation uh, really goes uh, to the organizers of this event uh, that uh, really became a success. Uh, much credit to the collecting uh, steward, Mr. Stephen Ananda, a vice show chairperson, and also the Lana a ring steward, uh, Mr. Robert Wayumba, the ring steward, uh, Linda Van Dalen, East Africa Kennedy Club chairperson, uh, Skaga. Kenneth uh, or uh, um, Madam Grace, 
the lady in charge of the office and uh, uh, also uh, within uh, the docket of the organizers much credit goes to uh, the judge Mr. Mark Anderson from South Africa he really displayed a splendid uh, a knowledge and uh, actions even in terms of his judgment that was uh, really welcomed by the participants. Uh, much credit also to the head trainer and obedience judge, uh, Mr. Yusuf Hussein, and also Ashel Sharma, a collecting steward and part time learner, ring steward, Cromwell uh, Academy, a vet steward and person in charge of junior handling, and the uh, Davis, the scribe, uh, the one and only Madam Judy Seton, and also the show manager and East Africa Kennel Club executive officer, Madam Gosen Tok. As uh, the Dog World TV, we've been here and uh, I can say in our subsequent documentaries, you'll be able to see the kind of breeds by their names and even their handlers and even their owners. It's not really an easy task. Yes, it's a wave. Everybody now feels like it's the new wave, like acquiring a dog. What should you really understand? Only two entrants for that club. Very rare to see them here in Kenya. Mona is 452, as and Mina is 451. Big CC is 452, and best breed 452. We should have five entrants for this. 440, 441, 442, 443, and 444. So. We also had uh, from various manufacturers, I uh, call them the heritage. Uh, we also had uh, from various vets and even medics that were also part of this event. Love is paramount. Just as uh, they say, love your neighbor as you love yourself. That really came out boldly from uh, those whom we talked to that's, uh, that will also be enrolling in our interviews uh, uh, section as you will be hearing one on one from various uh, uh, breeders and even uh, various uh, uh, practitioners in this journey. Mr. Mark Anderson, the judge from South Africa, 
uh, pointed out the need for training of judges in Kenya because there's a gap. That's one thing that really came out boldly as uh, he really encouraged that they are working hand in hand with the organizers such that that can be in play. Some of the interested parties, I know that's a welcomed move and it will be communicated soon. Much of such shows was also a part of concerns that came out from some of whom we talked to as they encourage more and more of this. Also, a rotational basis. Uh, remember, all these shows uh, from has been really happening just within the uh, capital, uh, Nairobi. And uh, one thing that really came out from the breeders that uh, it's now way far. They, f if the organizers can embrace a new way, like visiting various cities. platforms. Four four two. Four four two. Okay, that was plus ninety-seven open dog. We will now have the dog CC judged. Class number ninety-nine open bitch. Four four three.
Okay, so your best of these are okay, four, four, four. We should have the rough colleague coming up next. Please do take time to walk around, have a look at these stalls with all the different animal feeds. And despite the weather, we've got quite a good turnout here. So coming up will be the rough collie. So the rough collie, unfortunately, we have two that are absent. 438 and 439. So we only actually have two entrants for the rough collie. 436, 437. 437 is in class number four. 84, sorry. Open dog. And 436 is 86. So for class 48, the open dog, 437 was awarded first, and it was also awarded the dog CC. We now have class 86, open bitch, 436.
Congratulations there to Antonella. Okay, so we have three oh eight. Three oh eight is the winner of this task. We did have two, but unfortunately. Best of Breed awarded. So 
the, the Bubo, best of breed. Alici Milo, number 305.
And the Rottweiler, number 418. Where is the Siberian Husky? Not here. Oh, wonderful. Now, what he is going to do... Well done, Tanya.
Sean, Melissa.
one word then you will always get each and every update on facebook get us at dog world tv on instagram and in case of any query always don't hesitate to contact us of course we will be always flexible even to visit you one on one we eat your kennel open your company to showcase and to hear part of your story appreciation to part of the team our crews uh, mr albert odida uh, mr alvin olala uh, the director mr morris uh, duda one and only mr oliver and every other guy outside there always feel attacked along as you've really uh, shown the world that uh, you're passionate about whatever you're doing this the dog world Discipline, discipline, discipline. Round of applause. This is a, this is a brilliant working dog. Now, how many will have a dog who has possesses the power of a Rottweiler, but they're comfortable having him walk off without a leash? Again. IGP is about discipline. All the dogs here are powerful. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for the Dog World TV. My name is Cosmos. Maybe your name and how has the show been? Okay. Yeah, my name is Mark Anderson. Uh, the show has been fantastic. It's a whole new experience. Uh, the working group here is very strong and there's some excellent dogs here. So it's, as I said earlier, it's a, uh, it's a good sign for the future.
general ob observation as per the planning and uh, the handlers and dog breeders as a whole? Um, yes, there's a lot of strong uh, breeds here, especially around the German Shepherds, the Labradors, uh, the Rottweilers. Um, those are very, very strong and I see they do a lot of work. I mustn't forget the Labradors because there's a lot of those too. Um, and I think um, the future looks bright for the dogs. I really enjoyed doing the German Shepherds. I thought they were of very good quality and uh, there were very good Rottweilers here too as well today. And there's one or two breeds here that are imported and I can see they want to make an improvement in that kind of breed. So it's very nice, we must keep everybody involved to make it move forward. Maybe what were you really keen on uh, during a judgment? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, uh, uh, under the criteria of German Shepherds, what were you really looking at, uh, Pado? Okay, yeah, German Shepherd is a, is a vibrant, strong working dog. Okay, so when the dog comes in the ring, if it's just ambling along, obviously it's not the criteria that you need. The dog needs to be strong, it needs to have a, a personality. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's a police dog, we must remember, it's a guard dog. Uh, and it's used for a lot of that type of work. So it's very important that the temperament is strong. Not aggressive to people, but a strong learning dog because it's a very intelligent dog. So when the dog comes in the ring, you see that, that part of it. The next, obviously, is its outline and its correct structure. It needs to have a good structure in order to work properly. If you have loose ligaments and the dog's not there, it's not going to be strong enough to endure a, a whole day's work. The original purpose for the German Shepherd was a herding dog. So it used to herd sheep in the old days. <clears throat> and it used to guard sheep. So um, it needs to have a brain of its own to think. And uh, yes, those are the things I look for. Maybe your last word to the organizers. Sure. Oh, fantastic. Very, very nicely, very well run. And uh, as I said earlier, excited to be here. I've never been here before. And uh, each show is different. This one is very unique. And keep your uniqueness and you know, keep it what it is. It's an African um, adventure and that's how it will stay. So, is there a school to be a judge uh, for dogs? Maybe is there a course for, uh, for anybody who is uh, so passionate for, about dog breeding? Uh, so actually, I've been discussing it with this committee. They want to put something together and start people moving in that direction. Um, you need your own judges here. I don't think you have any here. So they, they need to train up judges and uh, we're willing to help. I've said to them I'm willing to help if they need any help. And I think it's a very important factor. You need to have your own people. Yeah. Thank you so much for making time for us. Asante. Thank you. Okay, as you've heard, we've been here for the last two days as uh, the Dog World TV. This is the last day of this show. And uh, the judge all the way from South Africa just has been pointed some of the factors or angles that one really need to know about dog breeding. For you, I say bye. Until next time, I'm Cosmos.